Hi, everybody. Welcome to First Code Academy. This week, we'll be doing a project on Python called 100 Years Old. In this project, we'll be learning how to do the basic operations in Python to get information, process it, and send it back to the user by asking how old is it and calculating how which year will it be 100 years old. For this, we'll be using the idle tool to code in Python. To begin this program, the premise of it is very simple. We'll have a, some code that will ask, what's your name? What's your age? Like, how old are you? And what year were you born? So with these three data, we'll display at the end, when are you going to turn 100 years old, okay? The first step in every program we have to do is collect all the information we need in order for the program to work. So we'll start by collecting the name because that's the polite thing to do. You ask the name first. So we'll ask input, what's your name? I'll leave a space here. The input command allows us to save any information into a variable. In this case, the variable is the responsible to save the name so we can use it later in the program. Uh, the variable, I called it name with a capital N. Input is a command for getting the name. And here is the message that will display so we can ask the name. Uh, remember, we use the print command in Python to display the information we have. So if we try it out right now, input name, print name, and I run the program, I'll show you. Here, what's your name? My name is Fernando. And I just print it again, okay? So far, so good. We just ask for the name and we get the name back. We'll continue coding, okay? Of course, we don't want just the name. We also want to know how old our user is. If we say create a variable called age and we ask, how old are you? Okay, we can leave it like this. The problem is age is not a letter, or I mean, it's not a word, it's not a string as we call it in Python. It is a number. Numbers in Python, especially the numbers that don't have any decimal point are called integers. And to convert this input into an integer, we need to add the special word int and surround this command between brackets. What this will do is ask for the age. When we type in the number, we will convert the number from letters, like from the string, into an integer. So Python can recognize that this is an actual number and not some word. The same way, we'll ask for what the year is the user born, okay? Or what year is it today? Sorry, not, not the year that it was born. The same way, because the year is a number, we'll add the int and the input commands and what year is it today? We'll close it both. And then we'll do some operation. What operation do we need to do? Okay, this is the year that the user will be born, like will be 100 years old, okay? If we grab this year, subtracted the age of the user, you will get what year the user was born. So for example, let's say the user is 40 and this year is the year 2000. If you grab 2000 and take 40 away from it, you get 1960, 1960. So that means that's the year the user was born. If I grab this number and I add 100 to it, then I'll know when the user will turn 100 years old. One, 1,960 plus 100 is 2,060. So I can know for sure that the user will turn 100 in the year 1, uh, 2,060. Of course, this is a number. And when I print it, I don't want it to be a number. I want it to be a string, just like name. To turn this into a string, I add the special word at str, 
and surround this entire operation with those brackets. That means that I will grab that number, that result, and turn it into a string. Now that I have everything in strings, the name and the year, I can print it in a message. Okay. If I want to do something like this, this won't work. Python doesn't recognize this as we want to put it together. To put them together, I will have to use the concatenation operator or the plus sign. This will put these strings together. Now, if I just pin it, print it like this, I'll show you. If I just try to print it like this, let's say Fernando, how old are you? Let's make up an, uh, an age, let's make up 70. And let's say make up like one, two, three, four. It'll print it all together, you see? There's no space, there's no formatting, there's nothing like really special about this one. We'll make it more pretty, okay? We'll make it look better. Instead of just printing them all together without any space, without nothing, I'll add another string in between these two. I to use two concatenation operators. And here's where I'll put the message. I'll put name, let's say Fernando, will be 100 years old in the year and then the year that will turn 100. Let's try again. Here, Fernando again. Let's put 50 and let's put 1,000, okay? Fernando will be 100 years old in the year 1,050. Okay, effectively, if you make the math yourself, I was born in 950, and then I will turn 1050 in the year, 100 in the year 1050. As you can see, this is a pretty simple program, but we have just learned how to use the basic commands of input and print, how to turn numbers into strings and strings into numbers, and how to display this information in the end. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.